most Africans fear Nigerians, and I'm saying it categorically. This fear came about by when we started watching their movies. One of the first reasons why many people are critical about Nigerians has to do with the fact that they will surely take a yard whenever they are offered an inch. Landlords in Accra will just tell a local to vacate a place if you cannot pay because the Nigerians are paying to take it. So when you're a local person who experienced this, you develop a certain level of distaste for the Nigerian. One one. It was that bad. So if you're a Nigerian, have you had any bad experience? Have you heard people? Have you heard the same thing that African Americans don't like Nigerians? And Do you think Nigerians are loud and arrogant? No, Nigerians are not loud and arrogant. It's just they don't know how to talk. They must go back to their country and learn how to speak. And I know and I think about them is that they are smart when it comes to their mind. Mm. They are the first thing. Yeah. They are not Nigerians because the target, the target there is Nigerians. There is a problem. There is a general trait that Nigerians have. There's, there's a necessary aggression that other people don't find comfortable. If you go to Donom, they are doing very crazy things with our ladies. And those <laughs> To be hated and to be loved is one of the ironies of being a Nigerian. No matter what some may say or think of Nigeria and Nigerians, she is one of a handful of countries that others admire. Whether in reluctant and begrudging admiration or more blatant display of affection. I've come to the conclusion that Nigeria is the greatest country in Africa. Whether we like it or not, Nigeria is the greatest country in Africa. These people have great music great food, great fashion, and they've mastered the most important thing, which is being themselves. You can spot a Nigerian from a mile away. Me being African and me being Kenyan, it's hard for me to admit this, but it's the truth. And I wish if there was ever to be another colonization in Africa, I wish that Nigeria would colonize the whole of Africa so that everybody can be proud to be African and live so boldly without feeling inferior to anybody. Nigerians mm. are the most smartest people on the planet first of all what is it about nigerians that do so well of different immigration groups nigerians in particular are extraordinarily successful not only is she the most populous black nation on earth with the largest economy on the continent she's also produced some of the smartest and most notable people in the world She's produced some of the most educated group of Africans in the diaspora. 4% of Nigerians hold a PhD. That, folks, is compared to 1% of the general U.S. population. They're way ahead. Also, 17% of Nigerians hold a master's degree and 37% have bachelor's degrees. According to data provided by Rice University in Texas, Nigerian Americans, folks, they are the most educated ethnic group in the United States ahead. And a minimum of 4% of Nigerian Americans are also PhD holders. Folks, that is at least three times higher than any other ethnic group in the United States of America. More than 70% of black doctors in the United States are now Nigerian of Nigerian descent. She's got a rich, beautiful, and diverse culture. She's put the African continent on the map thanks to her booming music and film industry. She's become the tech hub of Africa, and the list goes on. So why the hostility? After all Nigeria is not an invading power. They don't invade or occupy other lands. Also not only are Nigerians generally very hospitable and welcoming to foreigners especially other Africans. Nigeria has a long history of helping other African countries in terms of their economy and political independence despite her own problems. Thousands of Nigerians have lost their lives in the service of these countries. So what did Nigeria and Nigerians do to warrant the hostility that is generally directed at them? especially from fellow African brothers and sisters? While I can't say the opinion of some is the opinion of all, there is a certain measure of exasperation in their tone and body language when they speak of Nigerians and this are some of the reasons they give. They are scammers. While the notoriety of people like Hush Puppy once again put Nigeria on the map for the wrong reasons, ignorance would be judging and labeling an entire country over the misdeeds of a few. Many people who have been scammed online practically associate any scammer with Nigeria as a result of the already existing stereotype. Am I saying there are no scammers in Nigeria? Of course not. But if a person steals from somebody, should his country be accused of theft? Some non-Nigerians have also claimed to be Nigerians when committing this crime sometimes to defraud their own countrymen. In every country there are few bad apples and Nigeria is no exception. Also Nigeria is 8 times the size of Ghana, 10 times the size of Cameroon, and 4 times the size of Kenya. 
What this means is if 10 criminals are expected from Cameroon then, about 100 would probably come from Nigeria. So for example if you say crime rate is low in Ghana compared to Nigeria, also remember that Ghana is 8 times smaller in population. A lot of people attribute Nigeria's music success to population but not crime. I wonder why. Nigerians are some of the most hardworking, most resourceful and most resilient people you'll ever find. That resilient spirit has been a major contributing factor to their success as a people especially in the diaspora. Most of the, the population are working hard just to earn an honest living. It would not be right to brand a population of over 230 million people as scammers because of the misdeeds of a fraction of the population. Too loud and aggressive. But what does it mean to be too aggressive? Does it mean that Nigerians have a quicker and better understanding of systems and societies they find themselves in? Does it mean that Nigerians, by virtue of their worldview, education, and experiences, adapt better and faster than other Africans? Does it mean that they know how to make the rules work for them in most circumstances they find themselves in? Does it mean that Nigerians are generally never afraid or intimidated of their new environment? Does it mean that a Nigerian is an ambitious go-getter who is always seeking to better whatever his current circumstances are, and would take advantage of opportunities no matter the challenges? Whatever, too aggressive means, an undeniable truth is most Africans especially in the diaspora are always grateful when Nigerians show them the ropes. Or helps them out of difficult situations especially in uncertain times. For anybody going abroad, I'll tell you this. Get you some Nigerian friends. They know the law. They know the ins and outs of countries. They may begrudge you for being a Nigerian yet, most cannot help themselves but to embrace you. And what does been loud or arrogant really mean? It's no lie that Nigerians have a strong sense of self, which manifests in how they carry themselves which some people translate to mean arrogance. But growing up in Nigeria alone means you have to be confident, bold and not easily intimidated into other thrive because it is an extremely competitive landscape so it's not surprising that Nigerians exhibit this traits both home and abroad. Nigerians also take pride in their culture and country despite the challenges and never hesitate to show off their cultural heritage whenever there's a chance. Be it in music, language, dance, dressing, or grooming. This could come off as loud to other Africans with much more toned-down culture or ways of doing things. In fact some Africans have categorically said they fear Nigerians or feel intimidated by the aggressive nature of Nigerians. In other words, the bold and confident aura with which the average Nigerian carries himself has sometimes made some other Africans develop a complex about Nigerians. They are automatically wary of a Nigerian even if they've never met the person before because of their preconceived idea about a Nigerian. Even the traditional attires of most Nigerian cultured are seeing as too much by some Africans. They just do too much. They take our women. Nigerian guys, Nigerian guys, Nigerian guys, Nigerian guys, Nigerian guys. Nigerian Nigerian know how to dress. When a Nigerian man decides to dress, Ooh. from head hey. to toe, you really like, like it. it. Like Women are attracted to successful and attractive men, and that is what most of these Nigerian men are in the foreign countries where they reside. They are usually hardworking, successful, and clean up nice. Maybe they are also sweet talkers, but should you really blame the men for the taste of your women? Dominating presence. People, people themselves, they're very dominating. When you go to any community, you have Nigerians there, you have their presence felt. It's no lie that Nigerians tend to have a dominating presence wherever they go and some Africans are not comfortable with the fact that Nigerians have a huge presence in their business, educational, medical system and so on. Even in America black Americans are becoming wary of Nigerians as over 77% of black doctors in the United States are Nigerian. This is another form of domination that not all is happy about. Also that Nigerians make up a sizable portion of the rich in some of these African countries is also a source of concern to some of the citizens of the host country who feel foreigners shouldn't be dominating businesses in their own country. For most Africans they feel there's too much of Nigerians in everything. Nigeria also has a dominating presence in entertainment. Most Africans grew up watching Nigerian movies and have become so familiar with Nigerian culture that some even adopt their mannerisms or slangs which at times makes other citizens feel their culture is getting eroded because of the adoption of the Nigerian way. To see Cameroonians using slangs, using words, borrowing everything that comes from Nigeria and putting theirs 
under the table. Everything is all about Nigeria, Nigeria. We want to talk like them. We want to act like them. In music, Nigeria is also the dominant force as most Africans consume mostly Nigerian songs. This has sometimes led to jealousy, envy, and deep-seated bitterness in some countries among some people. Go to Nigerian music in Cameroon. We are tired of your greed. Cameroon arts first. Cameroon culture first. Anything concerning Nigerian music. Any Nigerian artist will welcome for Cameroon. When I just ignore us, I just ignore this Joe boy. Yes. Because no fish don't alive. Watch Nigeria. We recolonize our culture. Anyway, thanks to the success of Afrobeats and the export of their culture in the diaspora, most other African countries are starting to see that their music and culture too can be an export. Even though some have gone about it the wrong way, hating rather than leveraging on the success of Nigeria. Africa as a continent would be unstoppable if they work together and for any revolution that'll happen in Africa Nigeria will play a pivotal role. As Nelson Mandela said, the world will not respect Africa until Nigeria earns that respect. The black people of the world need Nigeria to be great as a source of pride and confidence. I'm not saying that certain Nigerians didn't exhibit some behaviors that warranted negative reactions especially in other Africans' countries. But again please keep in mind that these do not represent the whole nation. In every culture, tribe or people there's good and bad people. I would end this with a quote from an article written by the Sahara reporters. All in all, that a few Nigerians, as is the case with citizens from all parts of the world, are involved in fraudulent activities or other criminal enterprise does not give anyone the right to lump all Nigerians and give us false label. Oh no. There is another irony, though, no matter what they say and or think about Nigerians, they usually do so with some measure of respect, admiration and wonder. After all, Nigerians, for the most part, are simply forward-looking, envelope-busting, frontier-pushing, barrier-erasing, and are an enterprising group of people. And I think that's a really, um, that's a really nice way to end this video. Yeah, guys, so please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave your comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. So please like the video because it tells the algorithm to recommend this video to other people that might need to see this video. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.